My mom said this when I started my business. If you want to be successful, you're going to have to work hard. Now, do you want to work hard for somebody else or for yourself? I chose myself, but she forgot to mention that we had to work late night, early morning. A lot of stress comes with it, failure, sacrifice, going broke, and even going to sleep with an empty stomach. All right, kind of exaggerated on that one, because I did eat probably a little too much. But all jokes aside, for the first three years, money was really tight. But now that I'm entering into my fifth year, I can tell you there's a big difference. So that's why I made this list. So you guys can see the two different points of views from owning a business to working in nine to five. And just to get you up to date, before I started printing t-shirts, I was a maintenance technician for seven long, long years. Long story short, a bigger company bought our company and they laid two thirds of the whole company off. Which comes to my first topic, nothing is secure with a nine to five. I had a good job, good insurance, decent pay, but with a snap of a finger, they took everything away. Which in reality, I didn't take it the wrong way because I seen a new chapter in my life opening. I seen new opportunities coming and well, I was still young, 28 years old. Yes, 28 is still young. I actually felt more sad for the co-workers that were there for 20 plus years. The majority of them were older folks, 40, 50, 60 year old people that a lot of them, to my knowledge, didn't have other set of skills. All they knew was that company. Now, I don't know, but I can imagine that for them to get a job is gonna be 10 times harder than it would be for me. Not because I think I'm better than them, but because they've been in there for so long that to adapt to something new and to start all over can be so, so tough. And even though they told me in a very short notice that I was gonna get laid off, I was never angry at them because for seven long, long years, they put food on my table. Which comes to my other conclusion. That you live under their rule. They say you work, you work. They say stop, you stop. And when they say you leave, you leave just like that. Now, there's times where I do miss my nine to five, which comes to my second topic, no stress. Like when I was working with my company, all I really had to worry about was getting to work on time, doing what I had to do, and just leaving. That's it. Which in reality, there was not a lot of stress there because as soon as I walked out the door, that was it. Well, the only stress was getting stuck in traffic. But uh, other than that, that was it. There was days where we worked a lot and there was days where we barely did anything. Yet the pay was the same. Paycheck after paycheck after paycheck. It was all the same unless we did overtime. And the only way to get a raise was to wait till the end of the year. Sometimes we'll get an extra 50 cents or if we get lucky, we get a dollar. But the thing that I loved the most was that no matter what happened that week, by the end of the week, there was a paycheck waiting for me. So I had guaranteed money coming every week, guaranteed. So whether you believe it or not, that's a huge relief. That's a huge relief. But when you open up a business, that relief goes out the door. That guaranteed money that comes by the end of the week goes out the window. That is definitely not a window, but you know what I mean. So if you hated that nine to five, you ain't gonna love that nine to nine. But all jokes aside, for the first two to three years, you are gonna work a lot more and you're gonna get paid a lot less. Plenty of people tend to quit during those times because their money runs out, stress gets too high, emotionally, they're just not meant for business, and so many more things. Working those extra hours really do break you physically, mentally, emotionally, and it hurts even more when you have somebody that you have to feed, somebody that lives with you and eats a lot. I'm not gonna say any names, but um, it's this guy. Now, on average, businesses take around two to three years to become profitable, however, only 50% of all starting businesses make it to the fifth year. Either way, I wanna talk about the beauty that comes after those three years. But first, let me catch up on some work, so come along.
And just in case if you guys didn't know, Screen Print Direct is having a huge giveaway. It's free white ink for a full year. You heard that? Free white ink for a full year. Whoever wins will receive a gallon of ink each month. That's 12 of these in one year. Now, with a gallon of ink, you're able to print between 800 to 1,000 t-shirts. If you do a quick math, that's between seven cents and 10 cents a single t-shirt. Pretty awesome, right? And it's really easy to enter. All you gotta do is go to the link in our bio, sign in your name and your email, and that's it. And if you guys don't win, there's no problem because you can still get a 15% discount by using the code MILOPRINT that I'm also gonna add the link in the bio. And once again, thank you Screen Print Direct for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back on track. Now, after the third year, you're not gonna become rich. Well, at least I didn't. But there's four things that you gain. Four things that money came by that make everything all worth it. First, breaking that tradition that rhythm that comes from generation to generations of working a nine to five. And it's probably not a big deal for other people, but for me, it's something huge. Being my own boss, even if I have to work those extra hours, it's just something that money cannot buy. Second, flexibility. It's a huge privilege to be able to move around and not just being stuck in one spot only. Well, I am stuck to the shop most of the time, but if something does happen, I'm able to close it and go do what I had to do and then come back. To me, this is really special because I have a daughter and a dog that need a lot of attention. And having this business has gave me the ability to be more part of their life. Let me give you an example. In my early 20s, me and my wife used to get up every day at 5 a.m. And while my daughter continues to sleep, we'll focus on getting ready to go to work since we had to leave the house at 6 a.m. to be at work at 7. I get a lot of flashbacks of wrapping my daughter in a blanket, taking her outside in the cold, dropping her off with my mother-in-law, and then just disappearing for 12 to 14 hours. Then I'll go home and be with her for around three hours, then go to sleep and repeat the same thing the next day and the next and the next. On top of that, I was young, dumb, and reckless. So my daughter's childhood was a huge blur to me, which is why I am so grateful to have this business. The third thing, I love what I do and I get paid for it. Bringing designs to life is something that I truly enjoy. And the more that I learn about the industry, the more that I fall in love with the craft. So much that I'm creating videos for you guys. And of course, I do get tired of printing t-shirts here and there, but I never get that feeling of quitting or hating the business. If I ever do get those feelings, I just take a little nap. There's nothing a nap cannot cure. And the fourth is a huge accomplishment because now your business is paying all your bills. So you're able to go full time, which means that you have more time, more energy, and more money to grow the business. But I told you the good, now I'm gonna tell you the bad. And it's only one main thing that you should know, that if you don't work, you don't get paid. Which means there's no sick days, there's no vacations, there's no, oh, I can't find a babysitter. No, there's no excuses. You reap what you sow. There's been plenty of times where I had to work with a swollen ankle, with a cold, with a fever. I even had to work when I had COVID because somebody needed to pay the bills and that somebody was me. So I'm telling you this right now, owning a t-shirt business is not for the lazy. Every time my mom will see me slacking, she'll be like, businesses are jealous, businesses are jealous, which stands for that businesses need a lot of attention, a lot of attention. Anyways, guys, I gotta get back to work. I gotta print the back on these t-shirts. Once again, thank you so much for the love and support. And God bless you all. God bless you all.